Yeah, it's a good song. <laughs> Sing along. <laughs> Karaoke. Uh, it's great to be here at Albanon with the Port Power Cup now in its 10th year. We see hundreds of kids from dozens of schools playing over the next couple of days. And it's not just about the football. Uh, the kids who are playing today are committing to our targets in education and these will be the next leaders in our community. So we'll see some of these kids, no doubt, go on to play AFL, but a lot of them we'll see as doctors, as lawyers, as engineers, as leaders in their community. And uh, this year's a really important year in Aboriginal uh, uh, milestones for Australia. 50-year anniversary of the 1967 referendum, which drew a line in the sand, counted Aboriginal people for the first time. 25 years since the High Court properly recognised Aboriginal connection to country with the Mabo High Court decision. So for many of the uh, the young people playing today, their aunties and uncles and grandparents were leaders in uh, these sorts of rights movements. They're going to be the next generations of leaders. So the work that Port does uh, is absolutely second to none. No other club has Aboriginal programs like the Port Adelaide uh, Footy Club and certainly it, this, the Power Cup is unique throughout Australia in what it offers, not just in a chance to play footy, but in a chance to develop leadership qualities. We've heard about from the club's, club's point of view about uh, how exciting it is and how much they like to get involved. How nice is it from uh, your point of view to have someone with the pull of Port Adelaide putting something like this on? Yeah, it's amazing. The, the work that Port Adelaide do, uh, the way that they get behind uh, uh, students throughout uh, South Australia. And I see Port Adelaide regularly in some of the most remote communities, Pipilajara, Oak Valley, uh, Yalata, uh, going out, visiting our Aboriginal students on country, in community, encouraging them in education and their sports. Theo? Minister, um, when, you look, when you look at this and you look at the 50 years of the referendum, the whole thing to see how far it has actually come. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's, it's great to see what footy can do. Uh, you know, sport, particularly Aussie rules, has been a leader uh, in many ways in terms of uh, you know, Aboriginal rights. We saw it uh, years ago with Nicky Winmar's stand, with, uh, with the work that the AFL's put in through the Indigenous round, uh, now having gone for 11 years. It really is a leader in, uh, in Australia in terms of uh, promoting reconciliation. And have you had um, stories out of this program the last couple of years where you'd say, this youngster went on to achieve something or is there one thing that you look back and say oh this is a great moment? Yeah, we've seen stats. Dozens of people who were involved in last year's program have gone on to further training or education. So there, there is no doubt a lot of the, uh, you know, the almost 400 students we see here are going to go on to do amazing things. And uh, the, some of the students we see kicking the footy around today, we will see big things out of uh, in the future as leaders in communities.